Okay, so do you or someone you know sleep underneath the covers but with one foot out or one leg completely out? Or you wake up like that or in the middle of the night you have to creep that one foot out? Well, there is a scientific reason for why that foot creeps out in the middle of your sleep. It's super simple to understand, but it will make you smarter and it will make you understand why you do that because I do that as well. Um, okay, so the bottom of your foot doesn't have any hair on it, right? It is also full of all of these little capillaries and arteries that, that get cold or get warm and they circulate the blood throughout your body. They're full of, and I'm gonna get the pronunciation right, um, artery of venous anastomoses, okay? And so those are these little connectors that basically open or close due to temperature. So you have your own little barometer right in the bottom of your feet. That is why that foot creeps during sleep. Here's how it works. So in order for you to get a good night's sleep, your body temperature drops about two degrees before you fall asleep, and then even further in the middle of your sleep. And the coldest your core body temperature will be is when you're in the deepest, most perfect sleep. So our bodies subconsciously are trying to get into that really deep, purposeful sleep by dropping the temp. Well, if it's very warm out, like we are here in the summer or at any time of the year, actually, and you're, you're pretty warm or you don't have AC or your body just can't regulate, that one foot goes out and those little arteries will help do it because it's cooler than the rest of your body. This is also why, and I've known this for a while, I just thought it would be kind of a fun thing to share. Um, as a meteorologist on television, I would always tell people um, if it's really hot and you're just miserable like so many people are, or even in hot and humid climates, I know it's hard to hear this, but I would say about two hours before you go to bed, take a warm or at least a lukewarm bath. The reason for that is you're submersing your feet and your hands into the warm water and then what happens is it tricks your body into thinking, hey, it's way too warm. So then those little capillaries in your feet, they restrict, they start to say, hey, we're not going to circulate this warm air, the warm blood, I should say, because what it's going to do is drop your core temperature. So over the next two hours before you go to bed, your core temperature is rapidly dropping. It's like you tricked it. And then you're able to fall asleep more comfortably and stay asleep longer. So the reason that foot does that periodically throughout the night is not just because it's what you think in your head is more comfortable for you. It's more comfortable for so many people. They just don't know why. And it's your body's way of saying, yo, we need to cool it down a little bit because we are trying to give ourselves a longer sleep that's more substantial. So basically that little foot is your way of making sure you're getting a deeper state of sleep and you can thank your foot for that. So if you found this interesting at all, my name is Jody Kodish, I'm a meteorologist, a scientist, and more importantly, a mom. So I try to do science and videos on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, that are applicable to real life. So we're talking about ways to apply science to our life. If you liked it, please share it. Um, I wasn't able to have a YouTube channel for a long time and now I do, so I have a lot of catching up to do, a lot of cool videos to do. So if you found this interesting, you can press your friends with it. It is sexy to be smart and I will post more, so please follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you can. Um, share this if you're on Facebook or tag a friend that maybe sleeps like that and we'll have more videos to come. Have a great one, thanks.